foam rolling. If you're working out hard, or even if you're just sitting a lot and you're not stretching, you're not going to get the results you want and you're not going to feel the way you want because you're going to be hurting all the time. And so doing a regular stretch yoga type of routine in your week and foam rolling can make a huge difference. So I've had some questions about this. So I just wanted to show you just some basic, basic moves that can help knee pain, lower back pain, um, sore muscles, um, hamstring tightness, sciatica. It helps at all if you stretch out your muscles because a lot of times our hip pain, our lower back pain, is just because we have tight leg muscles, tight hamstrings. So some of my favorites, basically just because I tend to be tight in the hips, is to roll out my hamstrings. And so that when you first start using a foam roller, it can be really, it can hurt a lot. <laughs> and so you want to support yourself so you maybe aren't putting your full weight on it. So it takes, it takes away some of the pain until you ease into it and loosen up those muscles. So I like to just start with hamstrings and you want to start right at the end of your glutes up to the top of your knees. You don't want to go over your knee or under your knees here. So support yourself and you can just roll back and forth, you know, and you can even support yourself on one leg and roll back and forth the full way. So, you know, you could lean back like this and just go forward. It depends upon your sensitivity, but the more weight you put on it, the deeper the a muscle involvement's going to be. So just, just make it slightly uncomfortable. And then as you go, it'll become more comfortable and then you can put more weight on it. If you need more weight, you can always cross your legs and put more weight on like that. So that's, the hamstrings are pretty tight, but the really tight part is this IT band here. And this can be super painful, but it can be really, really important for your knees and your sciatic and your lower back. And so you want to turn to the side like this. You're going to roll up from the top of your knee to the top of your hip. I have to support myself here because it's too sense mine is too sensitive. But support yourself with your hands, with your leg here, and then roll from your knee. I'll put this here, roll from your knee up to your hips. And as that gets easier, less touchy, then you can put more, you can lean into it and put more weight on it. But I tell you, if I roll that every night, then when I wake up in the morning, my hip doesn't hurt because it's usually this tight muscle here that pulls into my lower back, that gets my sciatic and piriformis muscle activated. So if I can keep that loose, that's huge. You can also do the top, your quads, and so roll over and lean there. And again, just roll from the top of your knees to the top of your thighs. If you get to a place that's super tight, just you can stay on it, kind of move around like this. If you notice a knot, but mostly do big move, movements. Another one that's really helpful, and you can stay on each area as long as you want. You know, if it feels good, keep doing it. Another area that you can get is this piriformis or sciatic area. And if you cross your leg over on that hip and lean into it, that can be really effective. And that might be a place where you want to just stay in one area and make little movements back and forth. But that can be really tight. And so you can, you can move with it. You can go all the way up to your hip bone, all the way down your glute. That is really sensitive on me. And I need to spend a lot of time on that area, especially if you're sitting, you know, or if you do a lot of squat and lunge type exercises, those areas are tight. So just lean into it. This is a really good one. In fact, I mean, this is helpful to roll here, but rolling out this glute area is really helpful. So yeah, I could stay here for several minutes and then just do it on the other side, lean into it. And then neck and shoulders. And so you can foam roll just as easily, just lean back and you can even just try stretching into it, but rolling up and down can be super helpful to your back, to your shoulders. You know, you could lean into it like that. You could even stretch like this. So just play with it. Do what feels good. Now I know there's a lot of foam rollers that have the little knobbies on it. 
my muscles are too sensitive for that. I have one, but I can't use it because it just hurts too much. I can maybe do it on my hamstrings, but that IT band or the glute or my quads, it's too much. So, and then you can really get into, you know, doing the lats and that kind of thing. But most of us um, have issues with our hips. So that's where you want to start. So just get a smooth one. You can get these pretty cheap. Um, at Walmart or Amazon or whatever. I like to get the long ones because then you don't roll off of them. You know, as you're going back and forth, you'll move a little bit. This gives you some leeway. But just start with the hamstrings, flip it over to the top, do the side. It will be uh, uncomfortable at first, but the more you do it, the easier it gets, the better it feels, and you'll start noticing a difference within a couple days. So if you have knee pain, it may not be that your knees are out of whack. I mean, are, you know, losing its cushion. It may be. But if you keep those muscles stretched out, they, it won't pull funny on your knees. And a lot of causes of knee pain is that our muscles are tight and they're pulling how that knee, those knee muscles work, totally out of kilter. So try this. It'll make a huge difference. If you have some questions, just post them below. Um, if you have found success with foam rolling, post it below. We want to hear your stories too. So it's Friday. It's a good day to foam roll. Do it on the weekend. Do it if you have some extra time. Do it when you're watching TV in the evening. I keep mine here in front of the TV because if I can distract myself a little bit, then I will spend more time foam rolling. So hope that helps. You guys have a good Friday.